So it looks like I am still working on the best process and procedure for using Make MKV, Handbrake, and Plex. What I kind of figured out yesterday is to do everything in batches as opposed to one-on-one, -on -one, like one track at a time, ripping it with MKV, bringing it into Handbrake, and then converting MKV into MPEG-4 so that I can store it and play it on my Plex server. So before I went to bed last night, I went ahead and had MKV dump everything into one folder, brought those files into Handbrake, and then figured out how to add all of those MKV files to the queue on Handbrake. And now I'm just letting Handbrake do its thing and I can go about my business and just come back in an hour or so, or until it takes Handbrake to convert all of these files. Again, I am considering myself very new to ripping and storing my movie movie, DVD, Blu-ray files to a Plex server. 20 years ago, I used to rip and store and back up all of my DVDs to a hard drive. I don't know where that drive's at right now, but it's been pretty neat to kind of get back into the swing of things and relearning and fine tuning the whole process. I will say the big difference right now is moving from a very cheap optical drive to one of the OWC optical drives that does Blu-ray, DVD. I'm not running into as many errors and it's ripping the disc pretty clean. I'm, I'm having no problems whatsoever, which is not the case with the older, cheaper optical drive. This was 15, 20 bucks. This is close to 100. So if you're a Make MKV or a Handbrake Plex fan, or you guys do this quite a bit, let me know in the comments your best tip to give to a guy like myself that's kind of just starting out over again.